two, shot, close up, take three. Hey. I just want to bring awareness to the problem in the Middle East. 900 children have been infected by HIV. Hold on. Hey, baby. Oh, I'm shooting right now. Finish up the documentary. Yeah, I'll be on my way next week. It's only been four months. Okay. Bye. Okay. Pardon. It's just so easy. Like just now, I, I parked at Best Buy because I had to pick up my Christmas present to myself. <laughs> True story. And um, everyone's looking for a parking spot. And I find one like within two seconds. For how I said, I have like all like I'm so blessed. So I literally went to Best Buy, picked up my Christmas present to myself because I had already pre-ordered it. Picked up another present um, for my brother. I feel scared now. For my brother, all within like five minutes, and I turned around and the line for like store pickup was like 20 people deep, no lie. And when I got there, it was just me. I don't know how I do it day after day. Pop stars, that is. Ready Looking like this. I slip and fall. <laughs> okay then. Oh my god. my liver telling me she tapped out. <laughs> so I'm doing eye mask to rehydrate my under eyes to solve all my problems in the world basically. But she said, I'm out, goodbye. So, long story short, we were basically inside of the apartment and um, there was a lot of noise going on for a, quite a bit of time and it was around 3.30 in the morning and on New Year's Day and um, I was like, let's go and tell them to just quiet down so, you know, they're not, because they're disrupting us and the whole entire floor. So my brother opened the door and I really can't say everything that happened. Um, my brother opened the door and asked him to quiet down and then it went just, it went left from the door being open. Like we weren't even aggressive. We we're just basically in the doorway and asking him to quiet down. And um, I remember looking over my brother's shoulder and I saw the guy pulling out the gun. And the first thing in my head was like, this is a joke. This is not like real life right now. This is a joke. 
<sighs> and then I remember the second time he, you know, pulled it back and then he pointed it and I was looking right at the end of the gun. And I remember in that moment just praying. Just um just praying. Um it's not funny, it's nothing to joke about. My life, my brother's life, my sister in law's life, and other people in that forest's life could have ended that night just because of somebody's stupidity. And the day of New Year's, I didn't really like I, I was so tired, but I really didn't like gather exactly what had happened. Like it just seemed like a farce. It seemed like this is just, you know, you know, just kidding, you know. And January 2nd, I couldn't even really get out of bed. Like my body was just, my nerves were just gone. And um, I am now suffering from PTSD from it. Um, I close my eyes and I can still see it pointed at me. Um, I'm like super jumpy, like even more jumpier than I was prior. Um, I don't want to be around people right now. I um, like isolated myself even more and it definitely has triggered some things. And just like that, that person just did this, this callous, this horrendous behavior and you affected my life so much because you're just trying to do what? Why, why was there even that on you? Like, I, I just, I don't get it. It's not something to be joked about. It's not funny. I'm here to bring awareness to it. I'm, this is not about laws or gun control or whatever. I'm just saying like people's lives are valuable and you are willing to shoot us for just opening a door and saying, asking, be quiet. I feel like I have to use any kind of platform that I have to bring awareness to this because it's not right um, and it's not okay and I just feel like something needs to be done and we need to really fight in, in ourselves value to value basically. So half the week I wake up waking, half the week I wake up looking cute and then half the week I wake up looking like this. <laughs> this is why I don't do sleepovers. The guy's gonna wake up and be like, uh, what the fuck? Like, what? what is this? <laughs> and then we'll never speak to each other again. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I'm about to catch a plane in about six hours, I guess. I have a lot of work to do in between. Um, about to leave my brother and his wife. Um, lately, I've been, well, I've seen them twice this year, only to tw oh, twice within a year. So yesterday I wasn't sad. Today I'm like really sad. And I'm type person. I don't cry in front of people. Oh God, I'm so emotional. I don't usually cry in front of people. I always like cry before and like I see them or cry behind closed doors. But um, the reason why is because one of my relationships, um, my ex was like, he hated when I cried, but it wasn't like, I hate that you cry because it makes me feel bad or whatever. It was more like, I don't want to see you crying because you're just doing it for attention. So I always hide when I cry. I try to hide my emotions. I don't know why I'm so emotional. But it really sucks when you have family that doesn't live close and you're close to them. Oh, Lord. Oh, man. Okay. I gotta get it together. Vlog. <laughs> I have turned into such a crybaby. But, like, last year this time, too, like, I had a family. And now I'm just, like, I travel so much. And I'm actually really not 
feeling catching this plane because I'm kind of tired. Um, I haven't really spent two weeks in one place in a while. And um, it's just like going from having a family to like, you know, traveling all the time and having such a different life than I had a year ago. It gets it's rough. And I didn't even know I was this emotional about it because we were talking about last night and I was like, okay, it was fine because you guys look how crazy I look. <laughs> I was like, you guys know, you know, I'll just, I'm on a plane away. It's not like I'm fortunate enough to be able to just hop on a plane, whatever. But um, yeah, so I'm about to travel. I'm about to go back to LA. When I hit go back to LA, I'll start hitting up the comedy clubs. Um, I'm going to start scouting them out as soon as I get back. And plus, I got like, my other businesses are just like so busy. And during everything, I had to. Wow, this is a really ugly vlog. You guys were gonna like unfollow me after that. <laughs> um, during everything that's happened within the last year, I had to downsize because I emotionally couldn't handle a lot of things. So now I'm at the place where I can go ahead and start scaling back up. So everything's gonna be like hectic, and I just feel like this is like my last quiet moments as well. Um, not being in LA, but I will be back in LA to start working and working on my comedy, and I'll let you know how that goes. But yeah, I didn't know I was this emotional. Wow. So after being in the snow for almost two weeks, I have redecided that, yeah, I'm a Cali girl. I'm a sunshine state kind of person. Even though it's pretty, I need the beach. <laughs> so I'm out there porch traveling. Big freaking surprise. Like, Really, I'm gonna have to do something about my travels. Um, after travel better, <laughs> basically. I travel so much. Um, but it's interesting. I've traveled so many times on an airplane by myself. It's kind of weird because I travel on an airplane by myself a lot, but when I'm in like California, I never go anywhere by myself. It's kind of funny, but yeah. Um, I already caught one flight, now I'm on my connecting flight, and I'm going to be home soon. Um, I've probably been there like three days out of the whole month of December, so I'm excited. I'm not telling anybody that I'm going to be home until a couple of days, so I get some R&R, &R, kind of, because I still have to work for my marketing um, company. So, yeah, I'm remembering to vlog. And that's there it out. <laughs> I'm currently waiting to shoot. I have like a lot of shoots in today. My energy is so low, so I have to like really dig deep inside of me to get better energy. Have a nice quiet moment, powwow with God, and pray for my energy to go up or stop getting a red bull. <laughs> Red Bull and vodka. No, I'm just kidding. I, like, I've never drank a lot at all. But yeah. Wait a minute. Drink on a shoot before, not a job. A shoot, that's not a lie. Too close to Sunday. But yeah, I'm waiting for a shoot to begin. We should be all day in the next six weeks. So, guess what? You're about to say what? Okay, I'll just say it. <laughs> Guys, I'm almost done with my stand-up routine. Oh, so exciting. It's so good. The feedback I've gotten so far is just like... I'm so excited and happy. And I cannot wait to start showcasing this. It's good. It's really good. 